Okay, so dear students here, I want to do some practice with you regarding the active voice and passive voice sentences so that you will get the clear understanding regarding these type of sentences. So let's start. Active voice to passive voice, right? Means we need to change these sentences. Suppose our uh, one sentence written here, Fidat plays cricket. That's the active voice sentence because there is a no B form and no third form. So that's why this sentence is not in the passive voice form. So this sentence is in the active voice form and we have to change this sentence into the passive voice form. So what should we do that? This object, this object part will become the subject of the passive voice sentence and this subject part will become the uh, object of the passive voice sentence and play. This form we need to convert into the B plus third form. Which form of B according to the tense? Tense is simple present. So first form we have to use here. Means first form of B are is am right? So is will come here according to cricket. Cricket is our third plus singular subject, right? And third form we have to use, right? This uh, sentence, answer this sentence I have written here, but next sentence answer, you have to let me know that. You just need to raise your hand who will let me know about this sentence, sentence that does Virat play cricket? Who will give me the answer of this sentence? Does Virat play cricket? And please wait, let me do some setting so that I can see your hands. Now, please raise your hand who can give the answer of this sentence. Please wait, let me do some setting from my end. Yes, Ansh, you please tell me. Ansh, what can be the answer of this? Ansh, unmute yourself. Was, yes. cricket, was cricket played by Virat? Ansh, was is the second form of B. And second form is used sir, in is the... Right, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, now, right, again, tell me the answer. Is cricket played by Virat? Is cricket played by Virat? Very good. Right answer. Let's see the answer. Yes. Is cricket played by Virat? So, dear students, one thing you need to remember that whenever you change active to passive, basically the interrogative sentence. So, you have to remove the do, does, and did. As the helping verb do, does, and did we don't use in the passive voice sentence. So, do, does, and did we have to remove when we make sentence active to passive, right? That's why does has been removed, removed from here. So instead of uh, does we have used here is because B form we have to use. And in this uh, uh, sentence, we have to use simple present tense. So simple present tense, first form we have to use. So first form of B we have to use, right? But remember this, we should not change the type of the sentence. Type of this sentence is interrogative. That's why we have write this sentence in the interrogative form means is helping verb we have used before the cricket. And C will not uh, come here in capital form by mistake. Uh, that was written uh, C in capital form that will uh, come in the small form, right? Next sentence, let's see that what is the next sentence. Next sentence is also very beautiful and uh, very knowledgeable. Sentences, do Virat and Rohit play cricket. So what can be the passive of this sentence? Do Virat and Rohit play cricket? Who will let me know about these sentences? Raise your hand, Abhay. Abhay, yes, please unmute to yourself and give me the answer. Abhay. Okay, I think it's not getting my voice. Anirudh, you please let me know. Anirudh, you please tell me what can be the answer of this sentence. Is, is cricket played by Virat and Rohit? Very good. Right answer. Is cricket played by Virat and Rohit? Let's see the answer. Yes, very good. Like absolutely right answer. Is cricket played by Virat and Rohit? Yes, very good. Next sentence is that it's also an interrogative sentence. You need to convert this sentence active to passive sentences. When does Sahil read, what is that? Yeah, stories. When does uh, Sahil read stories? 
what can be the answer of this raise your hand please vanshika you please let me know vanshika you tell me the answer does when sahil ji uh vanshika sorry please again give me your answer does when sahil no no when will race. come in starting vanshika when will come in starting because question sentence type we should not change sentence will be interrogative good sentence ka jo type hai wo main change ha when yes very good when when sahil does no beta style will be object of the passive voice sentence our subject will be stories okay sai pratik you try please sai pratik give me the answer of this sentence when stories are read by sahil when stories are thoda sa galat ho gaya hame ye sentence ko interrogative form mein likhna hai interrogative matlab question ki form mein likhna hai to question ki form mein sentence ko likhte ya bolte hain jo helping verb use karte hain wo subject se pehle use karte hain subject ban jayega isme stories again try to give the answer sai pratik again try to give the answer when when yes when after after that when are stories when are stories stories read by sahil read by sahil yes very good right answer sai pratik you have given the right answer when are stories read by sahil dear students you should remember that no need to change the uh tense of the sentence we never change the tense of the sentence just we change the verbs of the sentence apart from this we have to change that subject and object because we have to show that subject is not doer subject is receiver here that's why we have to change the subjects and objects right next sentence why did he call you why did he call you who will change this sentence nikunj can you tell me the answer of this sentence nikunj you please tell me the answer of this sentence why he did call you beta i have told you jab bhi hum active se passive mein convert karenge do does or did jo helping verb ke roop mein aate hain unko remove kar dete hain unko hata dete hain did ko nahi likhna Did helping verb के रूप में do helping verb के रूप में does helping verb के रूप में passive voice sentence में नहीं use होती अब बताओ sentence कैसे बने Why do he call you? No, that's again wrong. Anyone else? Nikunj, you have tried very well. Why? Hmm. Second Why form of B. Is he call you? nikunj see that second form of be you have to use because in this did we have used so by this it appears that we have used here simple past tense so second form of be we have to use humne yahan pe simple past tense use kiya hai kyunki did se pata lag raha hai ki humne second form use ki hai do ki isliye uh, second form use karte hain hum simple past tense mein simple past tense mein second form use hoti hai to be ki bhi second form use hogi be ki second form kya hoti hai was and were now can you give me the answer okay why hmm why, why was he call you why was which helping verb is used with the you if you have was or were was or were mein se kaun si helping verb you ke sath use karni hoti hai were hmm now again say your sentence why why were Why were very good? You or he? You called yes, by good. he. By him, okay. Because objective case we have to use objective case of he is him, right? So your answer is that means uh, your answer should be there. Why were you called by him? Why were you called by him? Right? Okay. Next sentence. Who plays cricket? That's quite complicated sentence. 
And let's see that who can give me the answer of this sentence. Who plays cricket? <clears throat> uh, Neha, you please let me know. Neha, Abadao, please. Neha, your voice is not clear. Anshika, can you give me the answer of this sentence? Who plays cricket? Cricket kon khelta hai? The kon cricket Sir, khelta by whom cricket is played? No, wrong. Sentence is interrogative. Helping verb you have to use before the subject. Remember this. Okay. Anshika, again, would you like to give us answer of this sentence? Okay. Anyone else? Dipanshi, you please tell me. Dipanshi, can you give me the answer? Who plays cricket? The cricket is played by who? No. Wrong. Anyone else? Ria, can you give me the answer of this sentence? Who plays cricket? Sir, who is played by cricket? Who is played? No, wrong. Sir, wrong. who okay. is cricket played by? Who is cricket then? Played by. Your answer is almost right. Okay, very good, Dia. You have tried very uh, well. I try to give the answer. Actually, dear students, regarding this sentence, fact is that whenever we have to ask about the subject, so we should use who, but whenever we have to ask about the object and that is living being, so we should use whom. So when we subject to use the subject, we should use who we use. Like I said, that Virat is cricket. Now I want to subject to the subject, then I will say, who is cricket? Right? If I want to know about the object, and that object is living being, a uh, living being, sorry. So then we use whom we use. So when we use who को convert यानी कि who वाला sentence जब passive voice में convert करना होता है तो उसको by whom में convert करते हैं अब by whom object होता है but वो wh word भी है इसलिए वो helping verb से पहले आएगा subject हमारा cricket बन जाएगा तो इस sentence को हमें ऐसे बोलना होगा by whom was cricket so uh, one thing is uh, like wrong here we need to say this sentence by whom is cricket played so is will come here not was that's for written by mistake so is will come here Remember this, that uh, has been written by mistake. So is will come here because our sentence is simple present. So by whom is cricket played? Is will come here, right? So whenever whose sentence is there, we can change that sentence by whom. Even who is also right because instead of whom we can use in the modern English grammar, we can use who also. But ultimately this sentence is uh, right along with this, who with who also you can write, right? Yani ki jahan pe aapko who use karna hota na? So, you have to use who 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 you to who you have to use who you have to use to use who you have to use who to use who to who use who you have to use who you to use who who you who you to use who who you who you Who will let me know about this sentence? Harshit, you please tell me. Harshit, whom did you call? Can you give me the answer of this sentence? Okay. Dev, Dev, can you give me the answer of this sentence? Sir, who called you? Who called you? So sentence will be that who was called by you? Who was called by you? Remember this? In the passive voice sentence, we have to always use B plus third form. So B, which form of B? Any form of B according to the need of sentence. Sentence mein jis tense ki need hogi, us tense ke according humne B ki form fill karni hai. Right, uske saath the third form you use karne. Right, so this sentence we need to write here. Who was called by you? Whom did you call? Who was called by you? 
right next sentence who called you kisne tumhe bulaya who called you kisne tumhe bulaya so who can you give me the answer of this sentence uh let me see let me see ab hai can you give me the answer who was called by you who was called by you no that's wrong sentence anything like apart from who this answer called... no who will be converted into the whom किसके द्वारा तुम्हें बुलाया गया राइट सो दिस इज द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस सो दैट्स वाई आई वॉज सेंग टू यू डी स्टूडेंट दीज सेंटेंस बेसिकली आर इंट्रोगेटिव सेंसेज आर little complicated mainly sentences of who and whom so you need to do little more practice regarding these sentences one more sentence i want to ask sentence is that who will buy these pens who will buy these pens so who can give me the answer of this sentence who, who will buy these pens let me see let me see ansh ansh can you give me the answer sir by whom these pens would be brought no little like sentence is wrong by whom will by whom will these pens so some part i have told you rest of part you have to let me know anyone else who can give me the answer sai pratik disha disha can you give me the answer sir by whom these pens were bought no actually we are talking about simple future in this sentence you can see that will is there so uh will helping verb we have to use so a sentence will be like that by whom will these pens be brought by whom will these pens be brought third form of uh, by is bro sorry bought not brought sorry bought right and b form we have to use after the will we have always have to use root form so root form of, of b is b itself so b plus bought we have to use here right by whom will these pens be bought so this is the right answer of this sentence so little more practice you have to do regarding our interrogative sentences please wait so now come on come back on the fourth exercise page number you have to open page number is that let me see page number 94 so first second and third exercise we have done that so in our previous class so now we have come on the exercise number 4 so you have to do this exercise uh, in this first sentence is that we cheered our team firstly read the question question is that change these sentences from active to passive voice aapko ye sentences active se passive mein convert karne hain now let's change our first sentence is that we cheered our team enthusiastically so you need to see that what is the object in this sentence our team our team is the object and cheered second form we have used so second form it means we are talking about the simple past tense so whenever we will change this sentence active to passive second form of b we have to use second form of b is b means was and were so according to subject we have to use either was or were 
so our sentence will be our team was cheered enthusiastically by us our team was uh, cheered enthusiastically by us or even we can also say our team was enthusiastically cheered by us right so both sentences are right next sentence they welcome the guest warmly they welcome the guest warmly so we can say this sentence the guests were the guests were welcomed warmly by them the guests were welcomed warmly by them right next sentence sentence number 3 uh sorry like two sentences are enough for you rest of sentences you should do by yourself and if you get any confusion regarding these sentences so we will discuss in our next class so in this way you have to do this exercise exercise number 4 you have to do now let's talk about the simple future uh, um, tense so simple future so some examples are written here suppose one sentence is there i will buy the tickets in advance i will buy the tickets in advance right so what is the object the tickets is the object of this sentence and i is subject so subject will become object and object will become subject so we need to write this sentence the tickets will be bought why bought because will will uh, shows that it's a simple a uh, future uh, tense so will come here will will come here so after that we need to use root form so root form of b we have to use so b we have written and this by will convert it into the third form so we need to write this sentence that the, the tickets will be bought in advance by me we can also write or we can skip also next sentence will you help me will you help me so we need to say this sentence will or shall both you can use will or shall i be helped by you because me is object and you is subject so me will become the subject right and you will become the object so but tense remember this dear students tense we should not change right that's why we have to write this sentence will i be helped by you right so on the behalf of this understanding dear students you have to do the exercise number 5 firstly read the question regarding the exercise number 5 in this we have written means that's written here fill in the blanks with the passive form of the verbs in the simple future tense so passive form you have to fill here according to simple future tense right so simple future tense you have to write here in the simple future will helping verb you will use after that b plus third form right so we need to write like uh, first sentence these roads very soon widen so we have to write this sentence these roads will be widen very soon widen is third form of a white right so that's why this sentence will be written so widen is first form widen it uh, like will be third form so these roads will be widen it so third form we have to use b plus third form very soon right next sentence i am sure all these conditions and in fill up word is written fulfill so we have to write this sentence in this way i am sure all these conditions will be fulfilled will be fulfilled because in passive voice we have to use be plus third form and after will we know that always we have to use root form and root form of b is b itself right so that's why b plus third form we have to write these conditions will be fulfilled right so two sentences i have told you rest of sentences you have to do by yourself and now come on the exercise number 6 change these sentences from active to passive voice our sentence is that we shall grow apples in this orchard so the sentence is has been written in the simple future uh, tense so we have to change so now let's find what is the object of this object is apples so we need to write this sentence 
apples will be grown in the in this orchard by us the apples so apples will be grown in this orchard by us right second sentence all the news channels will telecast the prime minister's address so we need to say this sentence in the passive voice form the prime minister's address will be telecast the second form sorry third form of telecast is same telecast again i say the sentence the prime minister's address will be telecast by all the news channels right so in this way you have to like do this exercise so for today's homework you have to do exercise number 4 5 and 6 right now let's uh, come on the present continuous tense so in the present continuous tense we have to use is am are helping verb and after that uh, fourth form of the verb means ing form of the verb we have to use here so while changing active to passive what do we have to do is am are we have to write as same it is because like we should not change the tense of the sentence after that b plus third form which form of the b fourth form means ing form and main verb will be written in the third form same uh, has been done here somebody is knocking at the door somebody is knocking at the door the door is being knocked at the door is being knocked at right why are they bothering me why am i being bothered by them also we can write or if you if you want to skip then we can skip okay so being means ing form you have to write then third form you have to write right so on the behalf of this understanding you have to do this exercise also first read the question fill in the blanks with the the passive form of the verb in the present conjunct tense our first sentence is that arrangements for an inter school debate competition verb is made so we need to write this sentence in this way arrangements are being made arrangements are why are because because arrangements that's the third person plural and when our subject is third person plural and so that time we have to use are not is not am right so are will be used here and after that ing form of be ing form of be is being and make of the make we have to write the third form so our sentence will be that arrangements are being made for an inter school debate competition this exercise you should do by yourself and uh, rest of sentences you like we will do in our next class so now dear students if you want to ask anything regarding today's class 2 minutes you have you can ask 